What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipes. We're going to be doing today a chicken and rice stuffed burrito. If you guys like Taco Bell as much as I do, or you've tried their stuffed burritos, we're going to be making something very similar, but without the preservatives and the chemicals and all the fat that they use, we're going to make something much healthier and try to make it equally delicious. So I hope you guys are ready and let's get to it. All right, so this is the ingredients that we're going to be working with on this recipe. I have here about a pound and a half of chicken breast. Um, this is going to be more than I'm going to be using, but I usually cook off as much as I have and then I just use it later for different recipes. I have one cup of rice, just regular white rice. I have two stewed tomatoes in their pulp. And this is something that I'm going to use to flavor the rice that we're going to be using for the burrito. I have crushed red peppers, pepper flakes, cumin, pico de gallo, homemade, and the recipe for this will be on the i-card on the right hand corner. I have cilantro, garlic, and one bay leaves also for flavoring the rice. I'm using adobo seasoning to marinate my chicken along with lime juice. I got salt shredded Mexican cheese, butter for the pan to brown uh, the burrito, and I have some flour tortillas. Uh, these are large, and that's about it. Okay, so we're gonna get out of the way the thing that's gonna take the longest, and that's the rice. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of butter into one cup of water to one cup of rice. Then we're gonna add our cilantro, garlic, and tomatoes. Hey okay guys, so in my pot I have here one cup of rice, one cup of water, one tablespoon of butter, and I'm going in with two cloves of diced garlic, one bay leaf, and I have a little small bunch of cilantro, finely chopped. And this is gonna flavor the rice, give it some nice flavor. And now I'm gonna add some smoked paprika about a half a teaspoon. That's gonna give color to the rice and also that nice smoky flavor. Now I'm adding one quarter cup of stewed tomatoes in their pulp. Gonna mix that all up. Turn our rice cooker on and go ahead and get our chicken on the grill. All right guys, so now we're gonna marinate our chicken. I'm using the juice from about a quarter of a lime or a third of a big lime. I wanna make sure that the chicken's covered with that lime juice and make sure that you use real lime juice guys I always say that in my videos but I just want to make sure you guys don't use the artificial stuff that tastes horrible now we're gonna add about a teaspoon of adobo seasoning a half a teaspoon if you guys don't have adobo seasoning you're gonna use seasoned salt about a half a teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon of cumin it's gonna give it that nice Mexican flavor and about a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that all together. If you set this aside for 30 minutes, it will be a lot better because the citric acid will seep into the chicken and also all that flavor and it will be a lot more flavorful. Okay, now we're gonna go over to our grill. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken on the grill. All right guys, so the chicken's got about another three minutes. Just gonna flip it over and we're gonna let it cook a little longer. And then we're gonna go assemble our burrito. Okay guys, so our chicken's ready. We're gonna get it over to our cutting board for assembly. All right guys, so basically we're gonna just take a pan and put it on medium. We're just gonna heat up our tortilla just so it becomes more pliable. So we are able to fold it without it breaking. And if you guys don't do this, a lot of times people will try to fold the burrito and it will crack or break. It's because the tortilla is not heated. So you gotta heat it up a little bit first so then it becomes flexible. While that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chicken. All 
right guys, so now we're gonna assemble our burrito. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chicken, put it on, about that much. Take a nice big spoonful of the rice, and spread that rice on top of the chicken, just like that. Quarter cup of cheese, it's gonna melt really nicely right over that rice. And then we're gonna add our pico de gallo on top. Some extra freshness, some juiciness. It's gonna be beautiful. Not only beautiful looking, but trust me, this is beautiful tasting. Now we're gonna cut both, both corners. We're gonna bring them in, fold over. I'm gonna go ahead and pull, make sure everything's tucked. Now, last part of this is we're gonna bake the outside of the burrito in a pan with a little bit of butter. Put it into our pan. And this is just to brown the outside. Now, if you had a flat top, uh, like a press, this would be a lot easier, but I don't have one here. A George Foreman grill will be perfect for pressing this. about 30 seconds to 45 seconds on each side. It's gonna finish melting all of that beautiful cheese inside. Look at that. That beautiful golden crust. Okay guys, so you see, it's got a beautiful brown crust on the outside. And we're gonna just cut it at an angle. Look at all that beautiful melted cheese and vegetables and chicken inside. Okay guys, so basically I'm just serving it with a little bit of that pico de gallo, a couple of sprigs of cilantro for garnish, cut it in half. You guys could serve it with sour cream, add some hot sauce, whatever else you want, whatever tickles your fancy. But there it is, uh, it's beautiful, it's delicious, and it's healthy, no chemicals. You saw everything I put in it, all whole foods, and that's what it's all about.